something in me told me, you know, like, I, it was one of those things where you can't run from God, you know, so, um, I used to always say, you know, like, okay, I'll just probably get saved, you know, next year, or I never had the thought of gonna be, I'm gonna be old and not yeah. saved, like, no, because I can die tomorrow, and then where am I gonna go, you know, mm -hmm. and the thought of hell scares me, so yeah. I was just like, no, I cannot, like, I need to, you know, be disciplined, and I need to make a choice, yeah, soon or now, you know, it was never the thought mm -hmm. of being old, <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. came here, and I just, like I said, I've seen so many, you know, young adults on fire for God, and I was like, I just really want to be a part of that, so, um, I didn't think nothing of it. Um, I guess a lot of my family, you know, put thoughts into my head, you know, because it was Oh just my like, gosh. Judy, do you want to be in the video or not? <laughs> Can you stop? Terrible. <laughs> but this will be better, right? Yeah. <laughs> but um, I just, it made me a little nervous, you know, mm -hmm. because this was kind of my, I, like, I've never been away from home, like, something yeah. like this, you know? So, mm -hmm. um. It did worry me just a little tiny bit, but at yeah. the same time, I told myself, like, Adria, you're not going to surround yourself with people who, you know, are uh, obviously selling their souls yeah. to the devil. And so, you're so, you're, I feel like you're so wise beyond your years. And I always admire, like, younger people who just have a good head on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. But the reason I think I admire them so much is because when I was your age, I was not like you at all. Oh. I was not like you at all. And see, uh, I, I met just, some people like that, you know, and I just, yeah. I... I have so many older friends. That's as well. exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, and I just I learned from their mistakes. You know, I'm not the type to be like, well, let me just let me go do it. You know, maybe yeah. I'll have a different outcome. Like, no, you know, mm -hmm. clearly it's nothing good coming out of that situation. Yeah. So I do it. You know. Okay, this is the thing. Like, God has standards, and He wants things, um, and He wants a certain quality of life for you. Mm -hmm. Now, there's people that um, they they don't go with that quality of life right and it's not that they're bad people sometimes just that maybe they're a bad influence or sometimes yeah but or sometimes they're good people but they just can't be in your life in mm -hmm. that season mm -hmm. because and for me I think that sometimes like I need to be at a place where I give God my everything and I don't want to be giving that to my friends right because um, I know I have really good girlfriends I have close friends mm -hmm. and so I don't and so I know that in the past it was about I would just try and secure my friendship with them always, mm -hmm. you know? And now my thing is nope, I'm the thing the number one thing that I'm trying to secure is my relationship with God before anything else in the world. Yep.